Fox 29 News at 10. News is breaking right now on the coronavirus outbreak. Major developments in just the last few minutes. Travel to Europe now banned. And this just in, the NBA season suspended. Good evening, I'm Chris O'Connell. And I'm Lauren Johnson. So many changes happening so very fast, but we have you covered and we're laying it all out for you step by step. Our Dr. Mike is here to answer your questions. But first, at least one NBA player has a preliminary positive test for the coronavirus. More and more universities are sending students home and moving to online classes. The World Health Organization announced today this is now a pandemic, but the biggest headlines of the night coming from the Oval Office and President Trump. Lauren, thank you so much, Kristen. So many changes. Mm -hmm. Lauren Dugan is live in Newark, Newcastle County. Lauren, Delaware now has its first case of COVID-19. At this point, there really are few states without any cases. All right, several schools and school districts either remain closed or will close tomorrow due to concerns over COVID-19. Simmons Elementary in Horsham, Norwood Fontbaum Academy and Clymer Elementary in Philadelphia, Germantown Academy in Fort Washington and the entire South Brunswick and Sheltonham school districts. Many colleges shifting to taking classes online. We have more information on Fox29.com. Jennifer Joyce is live in Center City. Jennifer, coronavirus related decisions going to have a serious impact on the wallet. All right, we're well aware there's a lot of information coming at you. There are a lot of questions that you may have, and that's why we made the nighttime house call to Dr. Mike Cerigliano. Dr. Mike, I want to ask you this. I myself was diagnosed with flu last week. Does that exclude me from then getting the coronavirus? Complicating yeah. things, it's allergy season, Chris. Yeah, and pollen counts could, pe could give people the, the cough, the sniffles. It, it's not the coronavirus, yeah. but a lot of people are wondering, Kathy, the pollen is going to be a serious problem. It is. Mm -hmm. All right, Kathy, there's a lot to digest. School closures, health information. If you missed any of it tonight in our newscast, you can head to fox29.com. We have all the resources that you could possibly need. In other news tonight, city officials in Chester are calling for change in the wake of two teenagers shot and killed two other boys wounded. The deaths mark the 10th and 11th killings in the city this year. And city leaders are calling on everyone to help stop the violence. On Tuesday morning around 2 on the 200 block of Broomall Street, police say 15-year-old Edward Harmon and 15-year-old Tavon Avery were both shot multiple times died from their injuries. Tonight, the mayor of Chester and other city officials listen to community members who just want the violence to stop. Two refinery workers are in critical condition after this fire in Newcastle County. Sky Fox over that scene at the Delaware City Refinery on the 400 block of Hamburg Corner River Road in Newcastle. The fire started around 2 o'clock this afternoon. The workers suffered burns and were taken to Christiana Hospital. No word on what caused it. <laughs> The list is growing as more universities decide to cancel on campus classes in the wake of the coronavirus. Temple University and Villanova now making announcements today following the lead of other local colleges and universities. So what do students have to say about all this? Our Marcus Espinoza reports. We're staying on top of several major developments related to COVID-19. President Trump announcing a travel ban from all European countries except for the UK. And the NBA suspending its entire season after a player had a preliminary positive test for the coronavirus. Other major events across the country also being banned or canceled. St. Patrick's Day parades in several major cities have been canceled, including right here in Philadelphia. And the NCAA says all of March Madness tournament games will be played in front of limited crowds tonight. President Donald Trump telling the nation that we will get through this. An Indiana police officer went above and beyond the call of duty to really do a good deed. Lieutenant Randy Rogers was responding to a call about a suspicious man on the side of the road. When he pulled over, he learned the man was far from that, but simply someone who had fallen on hard times. He recently lost his home and was heading to Florida to see family. Lieutenant Rogers decided to go the extra mile and buy the man food. Well, Chris, it's a match <laughs> made in heaven. Yeah, former NFL <laughs> player Rob Gronkowski could soon become a permanent fixture in the WWE. Yeah, he's reportedly set to appear on next Friday's episode on SmackDown on March 20th right here on Fox 29. So you can see from this video, yeah. it would not be the first wrestling gig for Gronk. He made a special appearance during WrestleMania back in 2017. It's not clear if his appearance next week will be a one time affair or if he will become a more permanent fixture. I could totally <laughs> see it. Love wow. It. And I, then he'll go on to a movie career. 
Yeah, something else. Like The Rock. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think this is a move we all expected to happen for oh, a while. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to He's watch He's more it. entertainment than anything. Oh, my okay. goodness. Yeah, I just want to see the Gronk spike at the end as he, like, <laughs> spikes the guy down, you like know? Like a train wreck. <laughs> exactly. All right, thanks for joining us at 11. Fox 29 News at 11 starts right after this.